Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today's topic is about Elon Musk's Neuralink. In a recent announcement, Musk stated that Neuralink is ready for humans. This has created a lot of buzz in the tech world and has left people wondering what Neuralink is and what it means for us. So, in this video, we will discuss what Neuralink is, how it works, and what this announcement means for the future. Neuralink is a neurotechnology company founded by Elon Musk in 2016. The company's goal is to develop implantable brain-machine interfaces that can enable humans to interact with computers and other machines without the need for physical input devices like a mouse or keyboard. The technology works by implanting a small device, about the size of a coin, into the brain. This device contains electrodes that can read and interpret brain signals and then translate them into actions, allowing for direct communication between the brain and external devices. The overarching goal of Neuralink is to create a uh, ultimately a whole brain interface, a generalized input-output device that in, in, you know, in the long term literally could interface with uh, every aspect of your brain, and in the short term uh, can, ask, can interface with uh, any given section of, of your brain and, and uh, solve a, tr a tremendous number of things that, that uh, cause de debilitating issues for people. So, so you want to be able to read the signals from the brain, you want to be able to, to write the signals, uh, uh, you want to be able to ultimately do that for the entire brain, um, and then also extend that to uh, communicating to the rest of your nervous system if, there's a, if you have a, a, a sort of a severed spinal cord or neck. Neuralink's technology has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with machines. It could allow us to control our phones, computers, and other devices just by thinking, which would be a game changer for people with disabilities. The technology could also be used to enhance human intelligence and enable us to keep pace with artificial intelligence. With this technology, we could potentially merge with machines and become cyborgs. But how does it work? The implant is inserted into the brain through a small incision, which is made by a robot. The robot uses a laser to create a small hole in the skull and then inserts the implant into the brain tissue. The electrodes in the implant then begin to read the signals that the brain is sending out. These signals are sent to a small computer, which then translates them into actions. This technology has been tested on animals, including monkeys, and has shown promising results. In a recent demonstration, Musk showed a video of a monkey playing a video game using only its mind. The monkey had an implant similar to the one Neuralink is developing, and it was able to move a cursor on the screen just by thinking. Now, coming back to Elon Musk's announcement, he mentioned that Neuralink is ready for humans. So, what does that mean exactly? It means that the company has developed a working prototype of its brain implant technology and has successfully tested it on animals. According to Musk, the technology has been tested on monkeys and pigs, and the results have been very promising. But this announcement has also raised some concerns. Many people are worried about the safety and ethics of implanting devices into the brain. There are concerns about the potential for hacking, as well as the long-term effects of having a foreign object in the brain. There are also concerns about privacy and the potential for the government or corporations to use this technology to monitor or control people's thoughts. So, while the potential benefits of Neuralink's technology are enormous, there are also significant risks and concerns that need to be addressed. It's important to have a serious discussion about the ethical and safety implications of this technology before it is widely adopted. Elon Musk's announcement that Neuralink is ready for humans is a significant milestone in the development of brain-machine interfaces. This technology has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with machines and could have enormous benefits for people with disabilities. However, it also raises important ethical and safety concerns that need to be addressed. As this technology moves closer to becoming a reality, it's essential that we have an open and honest discussion about its potential impact on society. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.